what's going on Twitch, it's Jimmy Safir, and welcome back to Skyrim Worms Tooth. Now, I'm sorry to leave you guys hanging at the, la at the end of last episode like that. Uh, I actually ran into a couple bugs and glitches within, um, within my save game file. And uh, I've been emailing back and forth with the creator of this mod. He's been super duper helpful. And so I'm going to try and finish this the best way that I can. Unfortunately, um... Unfortunately, I had to skip through all of Dim Frost. I, I just couldn't access it. What you guys saw at the end of last episode, I had tried to go into uh, Dim Frost and the game just completely froze. Um, I, I, I'm honestly thinking because I was emailing with the developer and he didn't seem to think that there were that many issues with that many people in that specific area. And I'm honestly thinking that something may have just happened along the way that caused this this quest to, to sort of mess up but just on my end and I really I don't want to blame it on them because uh, first of all that would be respectful and second of all uh, it very well could have just been the fact that I may have done something out of order or or what I don't know so anyways unfortunately dim frost I had to skip through that and couldn't get any footage of that for you guys um, but we are now in the uh, we are in the Dim Frost Lumin Luminatory or Lumina Luminatory or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. But this will most likely be the last episode because we are getting very, very close to uh, to the final part. So I'm thinking we can probably finish this today. So let me go ahead and open up through here, and I'm gonna go ahead and save a bit as I as I enter through here. Now uh, I have played through part of this just because I wanted to make sure that it worked moving forward. But um, basically. We have ourselves a lever here. Now, I don't want to activate this yet. I want to see what's on these bodies. So, got some gold, some mead. Oh, yes, some arrows, of course. Let's see, a glass battle axe. I'm not really a battle axe guy, kind of guy. I don't want to use that. Uh, ooh, burns the target for 45 points. Targets on fire take extra damage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, taking that. Let's see here. A dagger, dwarven arrows. I'm carrying too much. I know that. Weapons. Well, I just picked up a bow. Ebony bow. Let. Pfft, freaking. No way. How about I drop this or just put it in this body? Ebony bow. And we're going to use this ebony bow that's enchanted, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay, what do we have here? A playable flute. Ah, oh, very charming. Got some Dwemer stuff down here, some Dwemer bowls. Oh man, this is a really cool place. Where am I supposed to go? All right. Let's see what else is on. What's on this guy? Fallen Adventurer. Oh my gosh, another enchanted bow. He's got gold. Um, what is this? Creatures and people up to level seven flee from combat for 30 seconds. Nope, not gonna take that. The other one I have is way better. Um. Cause I don't want my enemies to flee, and if I was hunting something with that bow, I wouldn't want them to flee either. So I would be wanting to kill them. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so let's search this guy. And let's see. Glass arrows. Ooh. Dwarven helmet of major illusion. Illusion spells cost 17% less to cast. I'm not I don't use that many illusion spells. Um I'm gonna take that steel dagger though, because I think I've been looking for a dagger for a while. Okay, so, saving once again. Let me actually jump into my items here, and I want to, uh, let's favorite this, and I'm gonna pull this up, and where is it? Right here, eight for bow. All right, perfect. Saving again, yeah! All right, so let's do this. Activate lever. Whoa! Oh man, we're filling up with water. Oh gosh. Oh, dead bodies coming to life. Ooh. <laughs> Not really. They're just floating. I should probably grab some air here. I don't want to drown. So I guess we got to follow this up. Oh, this is so cool. The level design of this mod is so sweet. It's just so awesome. I've been really, really impressed. Despite, despite the bugs, which, you know, it happens. It happens. Uh, I've actually been really, really impressed with this with this uh, custom story. It's been really awesome. So uh, yeah, I think we might be getting close to killing this dragon though, which would be really freaking cool. And it looks like I gotta go through here. So once the water f finishes filling up, there we go. I want to take a look at this thing actually. Big. 
Hello, hello, hello. Anybody up there, up there? Nope, nobody's up there. All right, so let's finish this. Let's get through here. And uh, I don't know where my companion went until the end. I don't know what happened to him. But, uh, whoa, this is crazy. Look at this wind whipping. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him, but hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully he'll show up again. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oh, what the? Call an adventurer. Gold, yes. How about some more ebony arrows? Ooh. Scaled boots of dwindling frost increases frost resistance by 40%. But I'm a Nord! I think I already have frost resistance. I should. Um, alright. Let's see. Oh my gosh. There are dead bodies everywhere. Was that a chest? Oh, it's a farmer chest. There's the dragon! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I remember seeing those screenshots from the thumbnails. Or the, the, the website. Oh, that's so cool. There he is. There's the guy we've been hunting all this time. Let's see what these guys have. A gold diamond ring for 900. Sure. Dwarven arrows. All right, what's in this chest over here? Uh, oh, glass sword. Okay, gold. Gold ore. Grand soul gem with a grand soul filled. Nice. And a potion of minor healing. Thank you very much. All right, can you get up? Can you get up here? Can I go inside here? Uh, there's nothing in there. Okay. Um. Oh gosh, it's a dwarven centurion. Mmm, some mead. Mmm. -mm. Oh man, I cannot wait for you guys. Oh, glass dagger. That's a better than the steel one. Uh, I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have planned for the premiere of uh, the Elder Scrolls Online when that comes out. You guys have no idea what I'm planning right now. It's pretty epic. <laughs> I um definitely I definitely love you Swifter Skyrim fans. You guys are awesome. Elder Scrolls fan oh here we go. Target takes eleven or fifteen points of shock damage and have as much magic damage. Alright. So this is the dragon. Should we go talk to him? Hold on, is this guy alive? Hello? Right. Let's go talk to this guy and see what he has to say. Hello there. Hello. Tiraz T Tinbar. Much time has passed since we last spoke. Oh gosh. For a time I feared you would not honor my channel. No, I honor it. Explain yourself, dragon. Why have you lured us here? It is simple, Dovaki. Avro Van Delan. I invited you to join my wandering dead in this. From Lokstronma. It is my seat of power. <laughs> this? This tipped Another over thing? Process. Now that you are here, the prey is scattered and weak. You shall fall and become one of my Lavu de Lanslen. My army of rotting flesh. What? Uh, do not think I will fall that easily, dragon. Why, why are you trying to raise an undead army? Dalmoro Bakdova. To restore the age of the dragons, I must turn the filth against itself. No. I invite the strongest of Tazo Khan to become my Serot Tu Kanar, so that we may begin the hunt. Roda Tir Voku. Uh, do not think I will fall so easily, dragon. What's this guy's name? Vul. Vulthurak? Vul. Vul? Thurkra, Volthrukra, Volthrukra! <laughs> many who will answer my call, but you are Matmahas, and indeed I will be expecting you. What? Togat Lane, follow if you can, so that I may swallow you in the fury of the north wind. No! You're gonna run away? Oh gosh, he just shouted. Uh. Where are you going? Oh snap! That's pretty sick! Okay, where the heck did he go? I gotta watch out for these falling rocks. Uh, what the? Oh gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa! How do I? Okay, I gotta go through here. Oh, that doesn't open, that's not open, that's not open. Oh crap. Oh, it's his undead army! Oh my gosh! No! Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. 
Oh gosh, which one switches these? Close that. Yes! Yes! Ha 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 ha! You won't get me. Oh gosh. Yikes, everyone calm down. Everybody calm down. Okay, is that open yet? Flip that open. Yes! Okay, that gate is open. And I think I have the shout out that. Well, let me see. Do I have that shout out that I wanted to try? Shouts. Phantom form, yes. Decoy! Oh, they're fighting him! Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, oh, he's got fists out too. <laughs> yes! Alright, what is this? Deadly Frenzy Poison. I'm taking that. Whoa, look at all these po uh, poisons up here. Potent Paralysis Poison. Uh, brief Invisibility. Oh, yes! Ultimate Healing. Solution of Regeneration. Potion of Regeneration. Potion of Minor Healing. Potion of Health. I'm carrying too much! No! Why? Why does this happen? Okay. Uh, weapons. Do I have anything I can drop? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. Oh, man. So much stuff. Oh, where do you have a glass dagger? I could drop one of these. How did I not know that? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna take this uh, deadly aversion to fire and deadly aversion to fire. Linen wrap. Alright, what's over here? Oh, a chest. Uh, weak magic of poison. Steel shield of dwindling shock. Um, let's see here. Oh, hold on. My wife just texted me. Uh, okay. All right, this uh, increased shock resistance by 40%. I don't really use shields though, so I'm gonna back out of that. Anybody else here? Okay, there's two guys still there. All right, so I want to arm my blade with one of these new poisons. Oh, target is 100% weaker to fire damage for 30 seconds. Sure, let's do that. Wait. All right, let's shout again. Go. All right, so can I make it? Can I make it out of here? Oh, can I make this jump? Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Hold on, let's pick them up with our new bow. I want to try out this new bow. Oh, yeah. Did? Okay. How did I mm. How are they all dying? What the? Where did everybody go? <laughs> Hello? Uh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. He's- How are they dying? He get out of here! He's dead! How did he die? How did he die? How did he die? What the heck is going on? I don't understand. Maybe they're all just- This is just their- the end of their life. Like, they were resurrected and then his- His shout just didn't last for very long. I'm cool with it. I am all right. Sweet gold. Uh, steel arrow. All right, dragonborn helmet. Whatever. All right, let me loot these bodies really fast. I need great sword. Ooh. Uh, some ale. Why not? Uh, glass arrows. An elven arrow. Uh, gold. Dwarven arrows. Uh, Elven arrow, ebony arrow, dude. There's so many of them down here. Look at all this, all these arrows and gold and oh my gosh, whoa! Elven war axe of war axe of mobilizing. These dudes all are stacked. Most of them were all super stacked with like crazy amounts of good gear. Look at this, iron mace of embers. Man, this is legit. This dragon had a um. Had a legit army going on, but I think after he, I think after he, uh, wow, that's cool. Um, I think after he shouted, they just all ran out of life because freaking, uh, the the, the power, his magic wore off. He flew away. Right, anyone else have gold? Anything? Yes, grilled leeks, sure. Okay. All right, so I guess we gotta go here. Let me save, and we're gonna go up to this place. Open to Worm's Tooth. All right, go. Okay, so we. Oh, here we go. 
gods you're alive. Seems like we've stirred a hornet's nest, all right. This entire island is about to be turned into a war zone. Oh gosh. Looks like the Empire lost its patience with our little dragon hunt and decided to send an Imperial contingent to speed things up, so to say. I guess the Empire was starting to feel some pain in their purses due to the suspended trade routes. Uh, you sound concerned about something. That I am. I was hoping to involve as few people as necessary. But now, now I have no idea how many good soldiers are going to lose their lives. And what of its trap? Did you find out why the dragon lured us to its island? Mm hmm. It aims to raise an army of fallen warriors to storm Tamriel. Oh gosh, that'd be awful. Yes, let's go. Get me out of here. Tadir? Is that him? Oh, it's him! He's back! Haha, <laughs> yes! His great return. Okay. So, that doesn't take me back down. We are done with that place. Thank goodness. And Lurius. Is this a horse I can steal? Nope, this is just a horse just doing his thing. Get out of my way, I'm going to a Budweiser commercial. Peace! Whoa! Is that him? Oh snap. Get back here, you jerk! Ugh. All right, where are we headed? Map. Let's see, ooh, over here. Defending mining, the Imperial Mining Settlement. Okay. Oh, Lurius. You've been a man. You've been the man in this quest. You're such such a cool dude, and your voice, the dude that did your voice acting is awesome. Everybody that, that did worked on this story was freaking cool. This is an awesome custom story. But we're not done yet, no, no. Wolf Mirror's watch discovered. Ooh. I wanna check that out at some point, but I guess Lurius is going this way. Um, wait, what did these signs say? Can't really read them. Oh, Barrow. What is that? Mining. And there's something else. But I gotta go. Because Lurius is up there and we need to help him. And that there's a dragon. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. This is this is freaking epic. This feels really epic right now. This horse <laughs> this horse. I just wanna ride you so I can go faster, man. Come on. Alright, Lurius, lead the way, dude. Lead the way. Like a true Nord, just running through... What is this, freezing rain? Just running through straight up freezing rain, just barreling downhill with a torch. That's all you need. I'm a Nord. I'm so hardcore. Oh yeah. What is this? Empty wine bottle, looks like somebody had a good time. Woo! Large sack. Salt pile, for sure. For sure. Empty sack. Oh, search skeleton. Oh, there's gold in there. Of course. Who's this lady? What are you? Elmera, get out of my face. Oh, this horse had had enough. He's like, no, no. Dragons are not for me. Understandable, you're just a horse. If the ho if a horse was dragonborn, that would be really bizarre. That'd be really weird. Nay, Wolf Shirt off! <laughs> be kinda weird. All right, oh my gosh. This is, are we here? We're almost here, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting close. Hello, little rabbit. The world is about to end. Lavender. Oh man, this is totally epic. This dragon wants to fight me. You know what happens when you fight the dragon, but what is this? Elf cup? Oh, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen those before. Oh, geez. You wanna fight me, bro? Let's fight! Let's do this. Let's do this. Where, am I, where are you taking me? When do I get to fight this guy? There he is. Can't talk to him. Where are you going? Okay, I think he's glitched. Oh, snap. 
All right, Swifter, so I hate to do this, but I'm honestly not going to be able to finish Skyrim Worm's Tooth. I have, at the point right now of me recording this audio recording for you guys to throw into the end of my video here, uh, I have been messing around and trying to just figure out how to get this to work. Um, I couldn't get the dragon battle to go properly, uh, which is really unfortunate because it was actually really epic, and I continually had it crash to desktop where... Uh, I'd be fighting the dragon and then it would just crash the desktop. I'm not sure if um, the Skyrim Worms Tooth mod is conflicting with other mods that I have currently installed or whether the, my world file is in fact corrupt. Um, so I really, really hate to cut the series short and, ju and just have this be the last one and not have a conclusive ending to this. Um, but for me to go through and ins uninstall mods at this point is going to uproot a lot of different things because I've been playing with these mods for a really long time. And uh, I'm just afraid it's going to mess up a lot more than than um, what it maybe already has. I don't know if that's the problem or not. But um, I do want to just take a second to, first of all, thank the mod creators for Skyrim Worms Tooth for creating this awesome epic story. Uh, I'm really bummed I can't get to finish it. But uh, if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, I'm sure you'll have much better luck. Um, for me, I had saves, like 100 saves all over the place. And it was just... I'm sure it got confusing and I think there probably was just a setting somewhere at some point that got messed up. And so I'm not, I don't, I do not want to put the blame on this mod at all because they've done a fantastic job and it could be any number of things that cause this issue. So what I'm going to be doing though, however, is I am going to be um, releasing a new video very, very soon uh, in which I want to take a poll with you guys to see sort of what I want to do next for with Skyrim. I kind of have an idea of what I personally want to do. I want to get your guys' thoughts on it and I will explain it in a video coming up very soon because I do want to continue my Skyrim um, series for you guys. I think they're really, really fun and I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. So it's definitely something that I want to pursue further, especially heading, you know, as we start to head towards the Elder Scrolls Online. I, I got to get as much Elder Scrolls as I can because um, it's... It's an addiction at this point. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this series. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it didn't end the way that you wanted it to. I, I always hate to end stuff like this, but um, I honestly tried my best. I tried everything that I knew how to do, and it just, I guess it wasn't enough at the end. So the dragon, he beat us. Ugh, he will live forever. That is so sad. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Peace. Peace.